good morning students today we are going to discuss question and answers from the chapter rocks and minerals this is chapter number 7 from your textbook so let us immediately start the first question is the base of plains mountains and ocean beds is the options are metamorphic rocks sedimentary rocks igneous rocks none of this so what do you think is the correct answer metamorphic rocks sedimentary rocks igneous rocks or none of this what is the question the base of the plains mountains and ocean beds is and we have to select the rocks well the answer to this question is igneous rock okay so let us tick mark igneous rocks and over here this is a specimen of igneous rock can you see this this is how it looks like maybe it might be in your place also wherever you are living just check out whether you can find out such rocks okay students let us move on to the next question the next question is this is not a main mineral of granite and what are the options quartz calcite mica and feldspar what is the correct answer well the correct answer to this question is calcite okay so let us tick mark calcite so calcite is a correct answer what was the question this is not a main mineral of granite and what is the answer to the question calcite here i have shown the image of calcite crystal isn't it beautiful well so let us move on to the next question the traces of ancient plants and animals found in rocks are called the options are vessels fossils tonsils none of this what do we call traces of ancient plants and animals the answer to this question is fossils let us tick mark fossils and over here i have shown the image of fossil okay this is a real image of the fossil so what are the fossil the traces of ancient plants and animal which are found in rocks these are called fossils let us move on to the next question the next question is this is formed from the trees and other plants which died million of years ago okay so this particular thing is found from the trees and other plants which have died millions of years ago what are the options sandstone coal granite slate okay what is the correct answer the correct answer is coal so let us tick mark coal now this is a image of coal can you see this we might have used this coal so many times okay now remember that coal can be formed after burning the wood also and it forms under the ground also if it is if it stays there for example a part of the plant or trees if they stay for too long like millions of years under the ground then also there are chances of coal getting formed okay students let us move on to the next question which of the following is obtained from petroleum and is used for making candles and waterproof cartons okay so this is a question i will repeat which of the following is obtained from petroleum and is used for making candles and waterproof cartons and options are coal pumice marble paraffin wax okay so these are the options coal pumice marble paraffin wax so what do you think is the correct answer which of this is used for making candles right the correct answer is paraffin wax okay so let us tick mark paraffin wax and this is a image of paraffin wax okay students now the next question is write t for true or f for false so what is the next question the next question is precious metals like gold and silver are used for making utensils so what is it true or false do we make use of gold and silver for making utensils the answer is false okay we don't generally make use of gold and silver for making utensils let us move on to the next question asia has 
more than one third of the world school what do you think is it correct yes it is true asia has more than one third of the world school okay that is a true okay it is a fact next question fossil fuel and black gold are some other names of the coal is it right no it is not right fossil fuel and black gold is name given for petroleum products okay and not for not for coal next dentist use powdered pumice for polishing our teeth is it right yes it is true fifth shale is used as an ornamental rock is it right is it true no it is not true it is false okay so you have to mention false shale is not used as ornamental rock then next question is right short answers okay what is the question right short answers and first in that list is what are the rocks made up of here you will write rocks are made up of minerals what are rocks made up of rocks are made up of minerals what are minerals you will write minerals are natural non living substances okay and then next point you will write minerals are the building blocks of rocks okay i will repeat minerals are natural non living substances and next point you will mention minerals are the building blocks of the rocks next question what is slate commonly used for here you will write slate is commonly used for making writing slates then blackboards and roof tiles of buildings then name two valuable underground resources here you will write coal and petroleum are two valuable underground resources then fifth question name any two places in india where coal mines are situated do you know such places where coal mines are situated yes you will write suhagpur from madhya pradesh and dhanbad from jharkhand these are some places where coal mines are situated okay next is answer these questions here you will find long answers and what is the first question how are igneous rocks formed here you will write these are the solid rocks formed when magma cools after being pushed upward towards the surface of the earth they are formed due to cooling solidification and crystallization of magma either on the surface or in the interior of the earth i will repeat these are the solid rocks formed when magma cools after being pushed upward towards the surface of the earth for example there is a volcanic eruption now what happens in volcanic eruption generally when there is a volcanic eruption this magma comes out this is a molten magma okay lava there is another word for it when it comes out it is called as lava so this molten magma when it solidifies when it cools after a period of time that forms a igneous rocks okay what are ores name any four common ores the answer to this question is rocks containing metals that can be extracted profitably are called ores now remember students the word profitably is important okay if you want to extract certain mineral for example any sort of metal from the rock and if you are going to invest lot of money but you are going to get a less profit out of it if you are not getting any profit out of it then you cannot call it as ore ore should be the mineral from which you can profitably extract the metal okay so the investment should be less cost price should be less and selling price should be more only then you can call it as profitable for example hematite is an ore of iron this is one example hematite can be called as ore why because you can extract iron profitably from hematite then other examples are bauxite which is an ore of aluminium or pyrite which is an ore of copper or calamine which is ore of zinc so these are some good example of ores of given metals okay third question why are coal and petroleum important to man here you will write coal and petroleum are important to man because coal is used to cook food and heat houses 
then you will mention coal is also used to power houses to generate electricity and to run machines in factories then petrol and diesel obtained from petroleum are used to run machines and vehicles and then next point you will write plastics paint fertilizers cosmetics are also obtained from petroleum so you can see so many applications of coal and petroleum it is used to cook food also then it is used to heat houses it is used to generate electricity then it is used to run machines vehicles and so many products like plastic paints fertilizer cosmetics are also obtained from petroleum and that's why it is important to man okay students then why is petroleum called a fossil fuel so why is petroleum called fossil fuel here you will write petroleum is called as fossil fuel because it is obtained from the remains of plants and animals in the sea over millions of years the dead remains of these plants and animals got buried in the layers for millions of years and gradually changed into oil and gas that's why it is called as a fossil fuel because it has been obtained from fossils okay when fossils get remain in ground under the ground for millions of years it gets converted into oil and gas then write two uses of limestones here you write following are the uses of limestone and what are the uses it is used to make bricks and glass it is used for separating metals from their ores it is also used by scientists to study ancient life on earth okay so these are few uses of limestone you can mention any two uses okay students though i have mentioned three uses for you you can mention any two uses okay whatever you feel easy any point from this three if you feel the first two points easy you can mention first two okay well students that was all from my side this was the last question for the day if you have any question post your questions in the comment box thank you for attending this session see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye